outbreak of a mystery virus in China. Chinese officials are advising 11 million people at the center of an outbreak of a new virus to stay where they are. More than 400 people had been infected with the coronavirus and nine people have died. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. The coronavirus. 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 The number of deaths here in the UK so far to 35. It's gone up to 104 now. 759. 1,019 to 4,313. The United Kingdom has now recorded Europe's highest number of deaths linked to coronavirus, to 29,427, which is second only to the USA worldwide. We will immediately close all shops selling non-essential goods. We'll stop all gatherings of more than two people and will stop all social events, including weddings, baptisms, but excluding funerals. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. Hi there, my name is Sersha Morton and you are joining me live in my bedroom, in my pyjamas, in gripping high definition, um, as I imagine that most of us have been doing with our friends, our family and our loved ones and our university lecturers over the past six months. Um, I'm here to tell you a little bit about the RTS bursary scheme and my course, Journalism, at Edinburgh Napier University. Now, Obviously, there's a couple of things that I can't exactly show you just because we're stuck indoors and a lot of what's going on is online, but I am going to do my best. So, come along, let's have a bit of fun then. Given different circumstances, I will be showing you my university campus, but since coronavirus has got us all stuck at home, I thought I'd show you a little bit of what I do in my flat, working from home, learning from home. The circumstances are excellent, it gives me the chance to work from places like this. And it lets me work from places like this, my patio in my flat in Edinburgh. So online university has been a massive adjustment for so many of us in the visual arts. As a journalism student, I have struggled massively to get the skills that I need, but with the help of lecturers like Amy O'Neill, who teaches me a fantastic module in investigative journalism, and some of my lecturers who've worked for Channel 4, STV and the BBC, helping to me to understand avid media composer and video editing, it has been made a lot easier. And one of my favourite benefits of working from home is getting to see my little friends. Another wonderful part of being able to work and learn from home is getting to spend more time with my flatmates. Go away! Okay. In all seriousness though, to those of us in the arts and those of us who are students, coronavirus has been detrimental. It can feel like nothing is happening and we're going nowhere, but through it all the RTS bursary has been massive to me. The Royal Television Society has an excellent network of professionals, students like myself, not just journalism students, but TV students, computing students, a wide variety of people who work in the visual and creative arts, and all of them are there to support you. Not just monetarily, though I know that that is a huge factor. As someone from a low income background, it's been so important to me. It's helped me buy some of the equipment just off screen, um, but also it helps me keep my podcast going with my friends. It helps me invest in camera equipment, but it helps me find work when I can't go outside. It helps me find friends and people with common interests. It helps me meet wonderful people like Clive Myrie, who is one of my absolute icons, and I got to watch him talk the very first year that I partook in this. I would highly recommend looking into being a part of the RTS, being a part of the RTS Bursary Student Scheme. We're a wonderful community and we are more than ready to welcome you. Um, stay safe, stay well, take care of yourselves and you have a lovely day. I'm Sarah Morton with the RTS, journalism student at Edinburgh Napier University.